Viewer discretion advised. What's up YouTube? Big D here. Time to review The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 3, titled Four Walls and a Roof. Now this is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, please go to www dot amc dot com slash the walking dead and uh you guys could watch the full episode there come back should take you know less than two minutes just to recap the whole episode pros to cons and uh then my final thoughts and my top three moments for this episode by the way supernatural uh so overall man in the beginning bob is you know with the hunters or you know Gareth's group, and he's just like, tainted me, <laughs> you ain't tainted me, I'm big idiot, and he's just showing them and everything, and it, it's very funny, and very amusing, and you're like, <laughs> you did eat tainted me. So, uh, in the beginning, you know, Sasha, they're questioning Gabriel, and basically Rick's like, what did you do, what did you do, and basically he says a secret how he locked everyone out and stayed in the church and kept all the uh, rationals and everything. So Bob is in the yard and there's a big A on the church so Bob is now back at the church and Rick and Abraham they start, they want to get into a fight but Glenn kind of, you know, hey girls calm down. And so Sasha wants Tyrese to put Bob down because they're going to head to this elementary where Gareth and his team are held up and when Rick and his group go and the other group stays with Bob at the church Gareth arrives at the church like two minutes later after Rick's left and basically this whole monologue in the group and Judith cries and he's looking for them and it's dark there's no light in the church and it's a pretty scary moment and Rick comes back man and he and basically Rick kills Gareth and the group full on gun and machete and stabbing it's pretty uh pretty interesting by the way I thought Gareth, uh, Andrew J. West, I thought he was a series, a season regular. That's what they announced a couple months ago, that he was a season regular, so I don't get... He's only been three episodes, so, uh, yeah, they, they fooled us all, they trolled us. And, uh, basically, he's like, it's the Lord's house, Gabriel, and it's like, no, it's just four walls and a roof, which is our title episode. Bob dies, and, you know, Tyrese puts him down, and after that, they go their separate ways, Abraham, Glenn... Maggie, uh, Rosita, Eugene, they all head out on the bus and Rick and them stay at the church. And uh, at the end, Daryl comes out of the woods and he says, I'm on out. Who is it? I don't know. We'll find out next week. It's either Morgan or Beth. That's only two options for me. Now, overall, what did I think about this episode, man? What did I think about Season 5, Episode 3? Uh, which is the 54th episode of the whole series. First off, let's start with our cons first, and then I'll get to my pros, and then my top three moments, and then the final score. Now, I know, I get it that it's artistic and everything, but I felt like this episode was too dark. Like, the lighting. It, like, this whole episode is just dark. There's no light in there at all. And I know it's, but you know, it's tense, I get it. It's really intense. But the thing is, is that if you're watching with lights on or something, it kind of ruins the mode, you know? Like, uh, be full and immerse, you know? Hey, it's The Walking Dead, but still, I wish there was some light in there. There was light at the end, and that's it, really. It's a very dark episode of lighting. 30% uh, of this episode was slow. Most of it's good. Nothing's boring. It's just kind of, like, slow and drags on at part to part, which you really want it to pick up, but it just doesn't at points. Uh, Gareth's death. Now, I think that he died a very deserving death, and, I mean... Thank God, you know, we all knew who's going to die by the red machete because Rick promised and, you know, doing that Rick look. But overall, when he died, man, I was just like, holy crap. And right before uh, he died, I was like, no, he ain't going to die. He, he's a seasoned regular. He's not going to die. And he just dies, and I'm like, shit, I look like, an, I look like a dummy. But overall, um, I think that Gareth, the way he did his monologues and everything and his acting... He could have at least stayed to the mid-season finale. That's what kind of got me mad. So, overall, I'm happy that Gareth's gone, but yet I'm not. I don't think they should have killed him off this episode, at least. Um, Bob's death, it wasn't emotional for me. I don't know why. I, I actually, I like Bob. He made me laugh and smile in this episode. And it, I, I only got a little tear, but I wanted it to be full on. Oh, like, when Dell died, I was soaking, you know, with tears, but... Uh, I guess I wasn't too emotional attached to him. And other characters. What's the point of having Eugene there? The point of having Maggie there? Or, um, Rosita, all them. 
I don't know if I said it before, but if they're not going to talk, talk. Give them some dialogue. Otherwise, they're just there getting a paycheck. We need to put, they need to put their 25 cents in. So, the other characters start having them talk, man. Now, the pros. The action. The action in this episode is phenomenal. Now, it's not as good as when Terminus got broken and blew up and everything, but the action in here was pretty brutal and pretty fun. Uh, the ending, with Daryl coming back and Michonne with their sword, I think that it was a great ending, and it leaves you uh, with a big uh, cliffhanger. The dialogue in this episode is very well written. I mean, the man who wrote this episode is or Angela Kang and Corey Reed. They uh, wrote this episode. Very great dialogue. And um, conversation to conversation and Gareth's monologues. Everything was right down, intense, interesting, and kept you going. Uh, the twist. I like there are multiple twists in this episode. I really do enjoy them. Uh, Andrew J. West as Gareth. He was a very scary and very intimidating at parts, but Rick overthrew him. It's intense. Intense episode, man. It's not predictable. That's why I like. I did not predict Gareth dying. I did not predict Rick coming back. I did not predict this, that, Bob dying at least this episode. Maybe, I thought maybe next week he'd die. Um, it's brutal. This episode is very brutal. Andrew Lincoln as Rick, man. Rick, his facial emotion and expression when Gareth's talking and he's just like, you do it to anybody else out there. You know that? When he turns his head like that, you know you're about to die. He's just like, you know what? You're not worth the bullet. And it's like, yeah, and he's just like, whoa. And Abraham's departure, and when he wrote the message saying, the world needs Rick Grime. And I was just like, season 10, baby, season 10. There we go. Uh, and I like at the end when Bob says, nightmares should end, but they shouldn't end who you are. Definitely great writing right there. So my top three moments, number three, tainted meat when Bob was the only tainted meat. Number two, when Gareth arrives at the church and does his whole monologue, and they're walking very creepily in the dark. And number one, when Gareth dies by Rick. Overall, I'm going to give this episode a solid A, secondarily a B plus. I think it was amazing. It was great. It was definitely great drama um, since a while, really. I think it's better than episode one of season five. Not of action, but of intensity and uh, humanity and being who we are as a society and keeping the fact as whether is Rick turning into a governor or is he turning into, um, you know, something worse. Because they did deserve to die the cannibals, but yet there are some questioning why, uh, what he did, what he did, all that. So overall, I enjoyed it. I liked what happened. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed the dialogue. I enjoyed the, uh, the, the intense the tension of what Gareth put on of Bob and how it impacted the show. There was progress in this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what did you guys think about The Walking Dead this week. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week for another episode, and it's called Slab Town, which is going to be, I believe, an all-Beth episode, mostly like 85% Beth. Uh, that's what I think. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe. Don't forget, every Sunday I also review Comic Book Men, and on Mondays, Gotham, The Blacklist, and Jane the Virgin, much, much more during the week. The Spock be with you always.